Hi, I'm Rod. Welcome to my channel. Today I am listening to ACDC perform Can I Sit Next to You Girl. Uh, this is their first single. It's the original version of this song. It was re done with Bon Scott. Um, I think the music was rearranged and the lyrics were changed slightly. Uh, but this is the original version. This is their first ever single. So here we go. <laughs> So that was Can I Sit Next to You Girl, um, I like that, um, the, I think um, Dave Evans has a great voice, um, this is a very uh, much a glam version of ACDC than I guess what we're we came to expect they became very much just a, a straight up rock and roll band. Um, but there was a little period in the where they were finding their voice that um, they did experiment with a few things, one of them being glam rock. Um, 
I think Dave Evans, his voice is great, but um, having said that, it was probably uh, the right thing to do to get rid of him and to find someone else uh, because the direction that Malcolm and Angus wanted to go in was a straight up rock and roll band and I think they probably needed a different singer to do that um, as good as Dave Evans was um, I believe so the song is about um, trying to pick up a girl at the picture movie theatre um, it's it was written by Malcolm and Angus I believe it's about a true story that happened to Dave Evans he was at the picture theatre and he uh, was hitting on this girl and then this guy come up and started hitting on her and um, it turned out she was more interested in the other guy um, the lyrics are much more subtle written by uh, the Youngs than what we come to expect from Bon Scott um, um, yeah so um, a bit about ACDC and the song ACDC are an Australian rock band formed in 1973 they were founded by brothers Malcolm Young on rhythm guitar and Angus Young on lead guitar. Their current lineup consists Angus, bassist Cliff Williams, drummer Phil Rudd, lead vocalist Brian Johnson and rhythm guitarist Stevie Young, nephew of Angus and Malcolm. Um, quite often I think ACDC's rhythm section gets overlooked. Everyone talks about Angus and Malcolm. Right, so Angus is the the one everybody goes to see. Uh, Malcolm is um, I don't like all these greatest lists and things, but Malcolm um, was a phenomenal rhythm guitarist um, and Angus has always said that Malcolm was a better guitarist than him um, so they get a lot of the li limelight as well as the singers first Bon Scott then Brian Johnson but uh, I think quite often we overlook how good throughout the years ACDC's rhythm section has been um, their music has been variously described as hard rock, blues rock and heavy metal, but the band calls it simply rock and roll. Um, that's how I've always considered it, rock and roll. Um, they are cited as a formative influence on the new wave of British heavy metal bands such as Def Leppard and Saxon. ACDC were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2003. Can I Sit Next to You Girl is the debut single from ACDC issued on the 22nd of July 1974. On the 26th of August 1974 the song peaked at number 50 in Australia. This version has lead vocals performed by Dave Evans prior to being replaced by Bon Scott as well as drums by ex-Masters Apprentices member Colin Burgess and bass guitar by ex uh, the Easy Beats member George Young who is the older brother of Malcolm and Angus he was also co-producer of the single originally ACDC's first bassist Larry Van Gryte played the bass parts but George recorded his own over them in 1975 after Scott joined the group rearranged and re-recorded the song as the seventh track on their Australia-only album TNT, released in December 1975. 
and that's the sixth track on the international version of High Voltage released in May 1976. The title of this version of the song removed the comma becoming Can I Sit Next to You Go. Um, in the original version there was a comma after you. Written by Malcolm and Angus Young, it was ACDC's first original song. Uh, the Evans version was released as a single in Australia and the band performed the song with Evans on the TV show Countdown. The musical arrangement of Evans' version is different from Scott's and it has never been officially released outside of Australia. Uh, the song's performance on the last picture show was made into a music video released only in Australia in 1974. Peter Clack on drums and Rob Bailey on bass appeared in the video even though they were not featured on the recording. While Angus sports his soon to be iconic schoolboy uniform in the video, the rest of the band present a glam rock visual image with satins and brightly coloured costumes more reminiscent of T-Rex than of later heavy rock imagery. Um, yeah, so I thought that was um, a great song. I thought uh, Dave Evans did a great job of singing that song. Um, um, but I also get why they ended up um, replacing him with Bon Scott. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did and you would like to support the channel, the best way to do that is by liking, subscribing and commenting. Uh, it all helps and I hope to see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.